Hello beautiful souls. I'm back with another deck review. So I have another Lenormand deck. Um, as if you've watched my previous videos, um, I have become very obsessed with the Lenormand or the Norman, however um, one wants to say it. I also found two that I have already had for a while, which are over here, and I'm going to review those as well. Um, there may be some background noise uh, because I am outside in my RV, my outside space. So let's go ahead and look at the Gilded Reverie by uh, Giro Marchetti Expanded Edition. So it comes in a very nice box. All I've done is take off the uh, shrink wrap and the cards were shrink wrapped as well so I took that off um, the box is very nice the backs of the cards are gorgeous and they have gold gilding the book and I hope everything comes in good because I'm filming from another camera waiting for a very important call from a doctor. Um, so here's number 27, the letter. So you're getting some pretty good amount of info on there. I don't like a lot of info. I like intuition. So let's go ahead and pull this down if it will. Yep, that's as far as it goes, and we will look at these beauties. So number one, there's the rider. And I won't probably be able to name off all of the extended, so I'll have to go to the book. But then we have the beautiful clover. This one doesn't have the titles. This is my first one without the titles on them. The ship, home, or house, and this one's very colorful and very pretty. The tree, the clouds, the snake. The coffin, I'm assuming. Let me check my little book here. Yep. Flowers. They've named it flowers in this deck rather than bouquet. Synth. The whip. And these are called, wait a second here, number 10, did we skip one? 11, hold on, let's go back to 11. 11 is actually called Birch or Broom. I wondered because I've been seeing some of the Norman decks with brooms on them, and I was like, oh, how cool. So it's actually for the whip as well. Uh, then number 12, we have the birds. And I think, yes, you have a choice. <clears throat> we have a choice between birds and owls. And I think I am going to go with the birds on this one because I have the owls on a lot of the other decks that I have. So I'm going to go with the birds. Then 13, we have child. 14, we have the fox. 15 is bear. Yep, 15 is the bear, and we have a polar bear. 
16 is the stars, I'm assuming. Yes, I've got the little book over here in my hand. Like I said, I'm still learning the Lennerman um, system. Um, Stork. And this is an extended. So there's going to be even more. 18, we have the dog. 19 is the tower. 20, I'm assuming, is garden. Okay, in this deck, it's called the park. And I'm just looking at the book. Yeah, in place of the garden, it's renamed the park. I would still call it the garden. Then we have the mountains. 22, choice. My two is choice. I really like that depiction. You've got two stairways up here. One of the doorways up on the top is open further than the other, and there are different colorations behind those doors. I really like that. 23, the mice. <laughs> They're adorable. 24, the heart. Twenty-five is the ring. Twenty-six is the book. Twenty-seven is the letter. That's really pretty. They're sticking a little because they have the ship, house, tree, clouds, snake. Oh wow, around the, it's got a lot of the names of the other cards. I really like this one. 28, we have the man, and you're going to get choices. So I think I'm going to go with this guy rather than hunky there. And then 29 is the lady, so I'm assuming choices. Yes, I'm going to definitely go with her. Thirty is lilies. Yep, thirty is the lilies. Very pretty. Thirty one is the sun. Thirty two is the moon. Thirty three, we have the key. 34, we have fish. 35 is our anchor. 36 is the cross. And then we go into the extended, which is just at 37. And that looks to be clock or, okay, 37, it's called time. Very interesting. 38, and you get a lot of information on that. Uh, 38 is Bridges. 39, we have the Dice. 40 is the Mask. Oh, look at the well. And that is what it is. 41 is the well. That is really pretty. Sorry about that. I had to take a quick call. That was the doctor. So we have the beautiful well. And I'm trying to get my page back. Which was 41. Yes, the well. That is so pretty. Then we have what looks to be compass. Yep, it's compass in the book. Very beautiful detailed deck here. Then we have what looks to be a maze. Nope, it's a labyrinth, which...
This card is about making your way through a confusing stream of events. Yep. See, I could very much so read these cards intuitively, but um, I do still want to learn the Lenormand uh, system. And then we have the magnifying glass. That is so pretty. So these are beautiful. I'm not going to shuffle them because I still want to take some time and, and go back through them. But, um, yeah, they are absolutely gorgeous. And I am starting quite a good little collection in the Lenormans. I've, like I said, I've become obsessed with them. Um, so thank you all for joining me for another unboxing. And this was the Gilded Reverie Letterman. Take care and be blessed.